Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back. Glad you could join us today. We're with our favorite hormone therapy and just a terrific gal, Dr. Liz Lister. How are you, Dr. Liz? Doing well, Art. How are you doing? Nice. Thank you. Liz, you never seem to age. Mm. But that is, that's what I wanted to talk about is aging. Uh, over the years that we've been interviewing you for Celebrating Act Two, we've talked about all kinds of things, including um, how the fact is that, that we are all are living longer. We're all healthier than generations before. Um, and I know that every once in a while, we just got a, our latest National Geographic. And that's the kind of magazine you open it up and there's, you know, some obscure tribesman who's lived to 200 years old or something like that. <laughs> but scientifically, what do we know about uh, living to? Of course, the magic age always seems to be 100, right? What do we know about living to a, a ripe old age like that? Well, there's a lot of research, as you said, that's being done about that. And one of my very favorite projects that's been done around the world for the book was published in 2008 on the blue zones and the original blue zones were five areas of the world that the were, people were they were noticing that people live in those areas routinely into their 90s and hundreds and they're active and they don't have cognitive decline and they're healthy and so people started to look and see what these zones had in common and and I, I, I where are these places because i want to move there <laughs> I, right exactly i know me too okay so the original five were icaria in greece sardinia in italy nicoya costa rica okinawa japan and a lot of people are surprised by this one, Loma Linda, California. <laughs> Those are the original five blue zones. Wow. Loma Linda. That's right down the street. I could go down. They have a great hospital. That's probably why. They sure do. It's where I trained. I trained yeah. at White Memorial in L.A. This was an Adventist hospital. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it about these blue zones that they've found that actually helps people live longer? Okay, well, there's a lot of fun details about each area, but generally speaking, I'm going to tell you the themes. All the people there, they keep active. And I saw a phrase that I really liked, which was mindless activity, walking to visit friends, walking around, gardening. So they're keeping active, not necessarily going to the gym to work out. Okay, so that's one theme that we saw. Another was the diet, of course, healthy, very lots of vegetables and fruits. Also, a lot of nuts. We know a lot of health benefits from nuts as well, obviously, fruits and vegetables. Uh, they're usually low on meat, okay? Uh, and they don't eat a lot, okay? So they, besides keeping fit and active, they are not having huge, ginormous meals. Another fascinating theme in terms of diet was that they drink cows, uh, excuse me, not cow's milk, goat milk and sheep milk. So that's really interesting. That could be a whole nother topic for us to do another time. Sure. Yeah. Okay. That's so that's kind of super fascinating. interesting. Is, uh, uh, just, uh, uh, just a quick thing. Is it because of the uh, lack of lactose in it or something? Uh, you know what? I will look up the science and I swear we should have a whole interesting topic about that because there's, I, I have a lot to say about dairy, dairy and weight, dairy and the gut. Okay. And but another right. theme I wanted to not forget is a sense of purpose in life and a sense of community. Those were two aspects. In fact, in Okinawa, Japan, uh, they have a particular word for it. I have to look at my notes. Moai, Moai. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it is a lifelong circle of friends. So you always know that there are people that you can count on for support. Mm. They don't end up 
isolated, as we've realized that a lot of seniors end up isolated here in the U.S. Uh, there's a lot of sense of community and family and valuing and lifting up of the elders in the community. Very wonderful, important themes in yeah. all of these different areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so it, it seems oh. to me that, uh, so it's a question of, uh, 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 it seems, uh, a sense of community and diet. And yes. uh, well, you didn't say vegetarian or vegan uh, as purely, maybe it's closer to right. that than that's, uh, yeah. That's what's interesting about Loma Linda, because the Adventist religion, which came about in the about the 1840s or so, has a very, uh, very much espouses vegetarianism. So not 100 percent of Adventists abstain from eating meat. However, it is a very uh, it leans towards uh, vegetarian. The Kellogg, who invented the cornflakes was an Adventist and it's always had a very big health emphasis. And uh, so that's definitely part of it. So it's not specifically vegetarian. Most of the areas that are blue zones do eat some forms of meat, but not in great quantity and not, uh, not all day long. They'll have usually a, their largest meal, usually in the middle of the day. That varies. Of course, it varies in different areas, depending on what the, traditional foods are uh, near there. But it's very, very interesting. So do, uh, do you think that um, um, uh, we have something to learn from this that not everybody can move to Costa Rica or Okinawa or some of these other places you've mentioned, uh, but incorporating, how successful would we be in incorporating that, this where we currently live, or is that, uh, are there just too many negative influences <clears throat> that would prevent us from getting the full benefit of this blue zone theory. Well, I'm an optimist, so we always have to be optimistic, right? And so that what I found super fascinating when I was looking into this is that what they're doing now is they're going around the world and they're doing blue zone projects in different communities. And you can, as an individual, do what they call activate your community to make it more like a blue zone. There's blue zone recipe books there that you can follow so that you're eating foods from around the world that have these kinds of healthy ingredients. Uh, there are definitely ways to learn from the blue zones and incorporate their activities and their mindset into your life, for sure. Well, that's good news. That's, yeah. that's wonderful, yeah. Because after all, if you hear about the blue zone and you said, as I did, how do I, where do I go? How do I sign up? Um, it's nice to know that it could be at least to a great degree duplicated uh, anywhere. Absolutely. It's so funny, John, you mentioned National Geographic. And when I, this is not the very first time I'd heard of it, but this is a blue zones, the science of living longer this is a National Geographic special, and I got this long time ago. I missed that issue. I can't tell. This was a special issue that I bought because I had heard about the Blue Zones, but I got it ready just to show you. <laughs> for well, our me, John, John, it seems to me that uh, one of the early things that uh, Dr. Liz said uh, about what mindless activity. Yes. Okay. That well, sounds like us, doesn't it, Art? Absolute to a T. So <laughs> I suspect. <laughs> That maybe we are we could we could begin a a virtual blue zone, okay? Uh, because we've got one of the things down pat. I mean, we we could be as mindless as as anybody ever, and then yeah, we just have all, to maybe t do some healthy things as well. All you have to do is join Celebrating Act Two every Thursday for Art and my founder's blog. That's mindless activity. Yeah. That's the height of mindless activity. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a relief because everyone talks about mindfulness all the time. So when you need a break from yes. mindfulness, you're there to help us out. Appreciate that. <laughs> well, this has been actually a brilliant uh, discussion. Thank you. Uh, it's always interesting, but uh, I'm definitely when we're uh, finished today, uh, going to be looking up blue zones. Uh, fascinating. Yeah, but I, I, I hate to say it. I'm still not going to give up hamburgers. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, or hot dogs. 
Or steak. Okay, well, or, you know or what? Or I lamb. Think, or... I, I think I think that uh, uh, John, we should say uh, goodbye and thank you for joining us because you obviously are hungry. Uh, you need to get out hungry. to the grill before your <laughs> oh, your yeah. mindless steak burns. I could use a double cheeseburger from Five Guys right now. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Liz. Dr. Liz, great to you're see welcome. you. Thanks for the information. Anytime. You're welcome. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.